interesting times in the market, right? At this point, we haven't seen a correction in a while. We see new records almost daily or weekly. Is it harder to find real value opportunities right now? Well, it certainly is harder than it was two or three years ago when people thought we were going to go off the deep end for a second time. Uh, but people don't realize that over the course of 20 years, you spend 80% of the time not in a horrendous market and not in a spectacular market somewhere in between. So you want to go back to what are the things that demonstrate alpha or outperformance over time. So strong balance sheets, consistently high profitability, uh, earnings consistency, things like that. You want to lean on those more because when everything is fully valued, you'd much rather own a very high quality thing that's fully valued than something that's not. I want to get to some of your stock picks because they're interesting names and they are some stocks that have not done that well. Mm -hmm. eBay being one mm -hmm. of them, right. woefully underperforming the NASDAQ. Right. It's had issues with PayPal, management changes there. Carl Icahn had all sorts of things to say about eBay a couple months ago. What, where is the love you have for this company? What is it that you're seeing here that makes you feel confident it's worth holding on to? Uh, boy, that's a, that's a wonderful question. The first thing to understand is we bought a lot of it five years ago in the teens mm -hmm. and it's all the way down to forty nine dollars. <laughs> so, 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 so you made money. So we've made really good money on it. Understanding eBay is like understanding counterfeit money. To understand counterfeit money, you don't study counterfeit money, you, you, you understand what the real thing looks like. So looking at retailers like Nordstrom or Cabela's, which we own, or, or Starbucks, which we own, you learn the, all the hard things about retailing. So then you look at the list of hard things in retailing and you realize that eBay doesn't have to do hardly any of those things. They don't run warehouses. They, they, they don't have to worry nine months ahead of time about what women want to buy, what fashion's going to be in, because they have all these sellers, both of brand new goods and pre-owned goods that are trying to meet whatever it is people want. They don't have shoplifting. They don't have employees stealing from them. They don't have sites, uh, physical sites. So, so all the difficult things about retailing, they don't have, which means that the market should put quite a premium on their earnings and their free cash flow, and that's not the case, which keeps it being an excellent idea. We're actually much more fearful that something will happen to interrupt their long-run success 